our story continues with both Saiyans fully transformed into what was known by every Dragon Ball fan as an ascended Saiyan. Reality had struck, and the Saiyans were now forced into accepting the truth that in their previous form, both of them were equal in strength and power. However, this little display of power didn't last for very long as in an instant, Goku and his female counterpart were back at it again. Both Saiyans blast off in the sky like a rocket, leaving an abundance of uncontrollable wind and energy behind to wreck the earth. Goku, having a bit more experience fighting at this level, quickly takes the initiative to go on the attack. Mid-flight, while the female Saiyan was trailing behind him, he quickly turned around, and at point-blank range, he surprised the female Saiyan with a key blast to the face, leaving her helpless as she tried her best to block the incoming blast. The explosion could be heard from miles away as immediately on impact, the blast exploded leaving a tremendous cloud of smoke behind which hastily spreads throughout the vast blue sky. Suddenly, the familiar sound of a Super Saiyan 2 key could be heard as the female warrior charged out of the thick cloud of smoke unharmed. With speed less than a second, she launched a terrifying spinning kick which Goku somehow managed to detect and block. Goku had completely shut down her attack, and very quickly at that, while he followed up with a counter of his own, sending the Saiyan woman flying back in the distance. Goku was going for the kill as the Saiyan could be seen in a familiar stance, while he hurriedly charged up his signature technique. Not wasting any precious time, he fired his Kamehameha directly at the Saiyan while she spiraled back uncontrollably throughout the bright blue sky. Just like a missile, the beam had locked on its target, and with unseen speed, it tore through the wind as it propelled itself forward. Suddenly, the beam had reached its target and on contact, it detonated, triggering an enormous explosion that rocked the earth's surface as the radiation from the blast had vaporized a huge chunk of the forest below. This was it for Itachi. Outside of the Genjutsu, the rogue shinobi had fallen to his knees. His sight started to dim pale as the light began to fade from his eyes, showcasing to the viewers what it actually looks like when the Mangekyu have been overused as blindness began to creep around the corner. This huge decrease in chakra has caused the Genjutsu to weaken. Itachi desperately tries to maintain control knowing that if the Genjutsu breaks, shortly, death will surely follow. Suddenly, something mysterious began to happen to the female warrior's body, leaving Goku to feel a bit confused. Her body, why is it fading? said Goku. It's disappearing then reappearing, don't tell me she knows how to perform the after-image technique as well. Sweet, said Goku as a smile began to break out on his face. She really does know how to perform all of my techniques. Traveling back outside of the Genjutsu, Kisame would have noticed Itachi's weakened state, he soon came to the realization that Itachi was running low on chakra and was desperately in need of assistance. And then everyone says that I'm the stubborn one, said Kisame while he silently gave Samahada a few instructions. Samahada, said Kisame, absorb as much chakra as you can from my body, but leave me a small amount so I can protect myself. Suddenly, chakra began to flow out of Kisame's body at a rapid rate, and in seconds, up to 90% of his chakra was extracted. Knowing this fact, Kisame quickly tossed Samahada into the direction of his comrade Itachi, and on contact, the sword instantly wrapped itself around Itachi's body, while proceeding to feed Itachi all of the ki that was stolen from Goku and also the remaining chakra absorbed from Kisame. Kisame's weakened chakra didn't do much, however, Goku's ki had completely restored and recovered Itachi's chakra, making it far more powerful and potent than ever before. So much chakra, said Itachi. My body is brimming with power. Itachi's control over Goku's mind had increased significantly. This is the power that I've long yearned for, said Itachi, and now that I've had a taste, I must have more. Kisame, said Itachi, are you sure you're okay, you've lost quite a huge amount of your chakra. I'll manage, said Kisame. Take a look in the distance, there's an abundance of chakra that I can absorb from that nine-tail brat. I see, wait, said Itachi as something began to run back in his mind. There is one thing I don't understand. Why didn't you use this stranger's chakra for yourself? I'm sure you felt its power. Kisame began to smile as he spoke to Itachi. It's simple really, it was too powerful to control, I tried to use it in small portions but even then it still hurts my body. Soon, I started to believe that such chakra couldn't be controlled by anyone in this universe. The fact of the matter is this. If your genjutsu had been broken, our deaths would be inevitable, so I took the risk hoping that you possess the talent to control such chakra, and it turns out that my guts was right, you are indeed capable. 
Back inside the Genjutsu, once more, the female Saiyan had escaped from the smoke, however this time some damage was done as her face showcased a look of discomfort, while she launched herself in at Goku with unfathomable speed. In an instant, Goku could be seen clutching his stomach in an effort to numb the pain after a lethal blow was dealt to his stomach. This is not over yet, said the Saiyan woman as she followed up with another punch, only this time, her fist was covered in concentrated ki. However, Goku wasn't having it anymore, and immediately, he had put an end to her attack while slamming her twice in the face and stomach, shaking her internal organs, before firing a ray of ki blast in her direction. But, this trick wasn't about to work on her as she managed to teleport out of the blast directly behind Goku undetected, soon she landed a huge blow on the Saiyan sending Goku crashing to the earth's surface. I've got you now, said the Saiyan woman as she plunged to the ground and unleashed a point-blank rage blast decimating everything within radius. The explosion was massive, seeing that most of her power was put into that blast. The force of the explosion was so powerful, it could be seen and heard from out of space. You fought well, said the Saiyan woman. Unfortunately, this is where your journey ends. Back outside of the Genjutsu, Naruto could be seen bending to his knees as if he was admitting defeat. You fought well brat, said Kisame. You've definitely improved a lot since the last time we fought. If anything, I must say thanks for the chakra, I was almost out after giving most of it to Itachi. However, Naruto couldn't hear a thing as he was lost in his thoughts. Even with two tails I'm overpowered, how could this be? Time to sleep, brat, but before Kisame could finish his statement, a huge boulder was sent flying at him. What? said Kisame as he managed to avoid getting crushed alive. Suddenly, Sage Mode Jiraiya appeared out of nowhere and started speaking to Naruto. Sorry for being late, Naruto, I'll take over from here. Kisame on the other hand was more impressed than surprised. He threw that huge boulder with nothing but brute force, he must have a lot of chakra. No matter, more for me to take. Jiraiya boy, why did you summon us? Said Shima, I have to stop those two Akatsuki members. So what's the situation? Said Fukasaku, while Jiraiya followed up by saying. They want to capture that man there, the one with the demonic chakra that defies all reasons. I don't understand what they are planning to do with him but what I do know is that I can't allow such power to fall in the hands of the Akatsuki. Shima, Fukasaku, for the sake of our future, we must stop them here and now. Suddenly, the legendary Sanin drops to his feet and arms just like a toad, and with one great leap, he lounges in at Kisame. Samahata, attack with me from the front, said Kisame as he proceeds to swing the blade directly at Sage Mode Jiraiya. However, having sensing Jiraiya's dangerous Sage Mode Chakra, Samahata abandons his partner and quickly lounges out of the way, leaving Kisame defenseless. Shit! said Kisame as Jiraiya had landed a clean uppercut, sending him flying 20 feet in the air before crash landing back to the ground. You didn't stand a chance, my chakra in sage mode is very dangerous. It's very toxic when you don't control it perfectly, your sword felt the danger and wisely fled. Back inside the Genjutsu, Goku could be seen bursting off like a rocket from Earth. The Saiyan woman would have picked up on this and hurriedly charged in at Goku. Why won't you stay down? I won't let you recover, it's time I finish this for good. However, before she could even get close, a tremendous surge of ki had blown her back, forcing her to abandon her attack. Suddenly, Goku's ki began to increase at a rapid rate. His face and neck began to pop vain as his entire body began to bulk up. Immediately, a ray of light began to shine out in the atmosphere as Goku's battle roar could be heard from miles away. Instantly, Goku had managed to transform into his legendary Super Saiyan 3 form, shocking the universe as even members of the Otsutsuki could sense Goku's overwhelming chakra from beyond Earth's galaxy. Did anyone felt that huge surge of chakra, said Kinshiki. I wonder if it belongs to Kaguya. Quickly, locate where in the universe it's coming from, said Momoshiki. However, back outside the Genjutsu Jiraiya could felt a huge surge of chakra erupting out of Goku. The force of Goku's ki was so powerful, it managed to stun Jiraiya in his tracks. His chakra is even stronger than before, I can sense his killing intent. Where the hell is this guy from? Itachi was also stunned as he never once thought that Goku was suppressing this much chakra. Even with my boost in chakra, it's still hard to maintain control over this guy. 
At this moment, the Genjutsu could break at any time. And that's it for today's video guys, stay tuned for part 9 to see what challenges Goku will face next. If you support me and what I do, then please subscribe to my second channel by clicking right here. With that being said, don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe to this channel as well. Thanks for getting us to 27k subscribers, our goal is 100k.